Hi everyone, this is Autopostrophe. Let's check out Switch and Shoot on Nintendo Switch. Extras, okay. See what I got. I don't remember hiring me. Unbelievable. Me. Don't muck up, Cleve. don't even use the controller at all, it's just the button. God. Even the, uh... I mean, well, maybe it's not a good example, but, like, even the first video game, which I think, uh, people aren't really favorite to space for. I mean, that was, like, 12 buttons. <laughs> I mean, it was a button for every direction. or the D-pad? I... I think this makes a... Uh... Concept of a game that only uses one button. Uh, but uh, like many other games that have attempted just to have uh, a single button do everything, um, it's not fun enough. Quite frankly. There's nothing technically wrong with this game. I mean, it runs, it's not buggy, um, but man, it's, it's just not fun. I mean, I, I wish it was. I never go into these, uh, uh, these first looks wanting to hate a game. I mean, it's not as if YouTube is going to give me any money for anything, you know, I, I don't have the kind of viewership that they want, I'm not, like, knocking over mailboxes or showing dead people in the forest, you know, what they consider entertainment, but, you know, I, and so when a game actually comes out, I buy it, it's not good, it's, it, it, I'm not happy about it. As I said, if, if you like the concept of, uh, you know, just using the one button, you know, if you're, like, a Flappy Bird kind of person, then maybe it's for you, uh, I can't. fun when I can't control my game. I mean, I'll just put a few rocks on the ground. I can't do this. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you at the next stream.